Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. This time, something new again. You see, Walk Alive was gone. Like, not producing videos for that long time. I did a blog, and on that blog, I did a segment I liked to call Tales of Top 10. And I'd kind of like to bring that series here, test it out, see if it will work in video. And so that's what I'm doing here. But I'm going to call it just in the title above T O T T. Because I don't think Tales of Top 10, and then the video title will be. Good idea, it'll just be a run on title. Anyway, to the actual top 10 itself. As you know, I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. So. I heard recently Stephen Moffat, the creator, say that even though people are clamoring for Osgood. Lou, the girl from the last Christmas special, any number one, any number of one-off characters that have been featured over the last two seasons to be a companion. Moffat has said that he thinks that he would better prefer someone new to enter the TARDIS. So I got to thinking and I thought if I was in charge of Doctor Who, who would I cast as the new companion? And so I thought why not do a top 10? Because a surprising amount came to mind. Now keep in mind that I am Trying to, for this list, keep in the Doctor Who theme that they have going. Where it's companions that are women, usually younger side, prettier side. And so that's what I did today, but to tell you the truth, I would prefer if it was a male and female companion for next season. But anyway, they usually just do one female, so that's what I'm casting today. Alright, so let's get started. Number 10. Bex. Taylor Klaus. Now that name might not sound familiar, but if you watch Arrow and a bunch of other shows lately, including iZombie and The Librarian, you'll recognize her. She was on Arrow as Sid. And... It looks like they're not bringing Sid back, so why not have her go on Doctor Who? Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't she American? Yes, she is. But, who's to say the Doctor can't have an American sidekick? I mean, Amy wasn't British. I mean, she was close, but a lot British. So, why not? And also, she's known for playing characters that are more rebel, kind of street thug type characters. So, I think that bouncing off of Capaldi could be awesome. But, let's move on. Number 9, 
Pippa Bennett Warner. But there's a caveat here, because if you remember, even though she doesn't look it, she was the female guest in Time Crisis. But if you look at her normally, you'll see that she looks a lot different than her character. So if she was playing a human as a different character, that would be cool. Her and Capaldi had some really good chemistry. And I think she could play a wide variety of different types of companions. So oh, that's why I picked her. Number eight, Miranda Hart. Now I know you're thinking she doesn't really fit the typical companion mold, and you would be right. But keep in mind, there was another companion who didn't really fit the companion mold and was also a British comedian before being a companion. Catherine Tate as Donna Noble. I think after the tragedy that they're alluding to with Clara, the tragedy with Danny, who was a semi-companion, I guess. And the tragedy with the pawns. I think the Doctor could use a friend and could use someone who's known for more levity. And considering she was awesome in the spy. And also hyperspace, if you remember that short-running British show. I think she could be a good foil to Capaldi's doctor and be his friend companion. Alright, next up we have Katie Wu Lang. Now you guys might recognize her from Harry Potter. She was in a few of the movies. But here's something that you might not know by watching the movies. He's Scottish. Yep. So, I just think it would be cool to have Scottish Doctor, Scottish Companion. They can bounce off each other. Given the fact that the Doctor is grumpy and everything, having a Companion that can just throw it right back at him, that would be really cool. And I think she has the chops to do it. Alright. Next up we have Sophie Cookson. Now she's a relatively newcomer. She's only really done one big thing. But her big thing was the Kingsman. She was the female lead. And she did a really good job. And I think her character there would be the perfect kind of companion. Alright, next up, number five. Emma Lahana. Now, this lady, you might recognize her if you watch the show Haven, but she basically got her start as a Power Ranger. And given that Liv from iZombie is a former Power Ranger, why not have her in the role? She was Kira 
on Dino Thunder, by the way. If you didn't recognize her. But I think it would be cool. She could be a New Zealand like transplant. Kind of like Amy, but more so. I mean, as in foreign transplant. And she can clearly kick butt, so. It might be nice to have a companion that can kick, but. I can see her almost as kind of Rose meets Gwen from Torchwood. And so that's why I put her on here, even though she's not British. But FYI, she is the last non-Brit on this list. So moving on, we have Gina Bellman. Probably the most popular out of this list. Gaining popularity on the British show Coupling, and the American show, Leverage. But, I think she could be really good, kind of, companion where she could easily take up the different roles that would come from being in a different time period. Also, I know she's a little older, but that they could just play that up as kind of River, if she comes back after the Christmas special, could be a little jealous. And they could play that up, and she could just be a kick-butt companion who plays off of other people. And so that's why I picked her. Number three. Georgie Hensley. You might not recognize her, but Georgie was actually the little girl from the Chronicles of Narnia. But since then, she's kept up acting, but really hasn't done anything big. So I think. This could be her break. Again. And show that she's older. But I can almost imagine her character being an older version of, I think her name was Sophie. Where she's hopeful, optimistic. Like saccharine sweet. But playing that off of Capaldi's more grumpy doctor. I think that could be really cool. Alright, next up we have number two. Eliza Bennett. Now this girl, she's been acting somewhat but if you recognize her, it's probably for her one and only big role, which was she was the daughter on Inkheart. I think that she could be a good, like, adventurous, brave, but well-learned character. Kind of like... Well, honestly, kind of a mix of her character from Inkheart with maybe a little bit of Martha. Minus the whole crush thing. So. Or she could play another one. I think she has some acting talent. Anyway, moving on to my number one. Pick for actress to play the next companion on Doctor Who. And 
Antonio Thomas. Yep. The girl from Misfits. Oh boy. I've seen her act in a couple things and I think she could be perfect. Like, I think she could be kind of like Amy, but a little bit more rough. Kind of like a nicer version of her character from Misfits, minus the powers. Or if they wanted, I could kind of see her playing somewhat like. A younger Donna, which either would be cool, like bouncing off of Grumpy Capaldi, be really cool to see, or I could see her be like even more nice and inquisitive, and just something more in line with the companions from class at Doctor Who. Or she could be a companion that we've never seen before. I think she has the talent. I really liked her on Misfits. And it's just a couple of other things that I've seen that I really liked her on and I think she has the versatility. And I just really want to see her Bouncing off of Capaldi. I think they'd be great together. As actors. Anyway, so. That's my list. Hopefully you like it. Are there any actresses you'd like to see play the next companion? Tell me in the comments. What did you think of my list? Tell me in the comments. If you have any thoughts on the subject, just let me know. Glad to talk back in the comments. And honestly, push come to shove. I trust Moffat that he knows what he's doing when he casts the next companion. I don't care who it is, I'm just giving a few suggestions. Putting it out there. And let me know what you think of this top 10. I'm probably going to keep doing it. Alright, I will see you guys next time where I'm doing, I don't know. Anyway, till then, see ya, bye.